while I'm here, we're going to get all the windows installed up there on the side right here. So Jake milled all these two by fours, true two by fours. Going to build some frames, go around all of these windows. And then we'll start installing windows after the fact. There's some right there, a bunch of them over there, the backside. Sucker's gonna be sealed in, and then we'll go through, seam seal every one of these. Oops, sorry. Right there, and then up on top, do another one. Should be watertight, hopefully, after that. Here's an inside view. Nothing in here as of right now, but a couple windows, some tools. But we're gonna hopefully get windows installed, window over there, there, all of these, and then upstairs, and then hopefully get to the point where cut out a hole right here, build some stairs going right up to the upper level. And that way they can access the top side too. So this is kind of cool. This is only my second time to Canada. And I'm out here on Como Rebbe with my cousin, Nicole and Jake. So I'll be here for 10 days, eight days of work, 10 days or yeah, six days of work, eight days of work, somewhere like that. And, uh, Hopefully we can get a lot done. A lot of cool stuff out here. It's beautiful country. Beautiful country. There are yurts over there. The little bunkie I'm staying in is over there. They got the setup out here. Got the setup. New tractor. That's going to be a game changer for them. This new little house will be a game changer for them. Next year or next spring, we're supposed to be going to the Caribbean oh, even for the, the new, the new one? family vacation. Yeah. So you have to get both passports. Yes. This is water. Yesterday, got that small little L section done among a bunch of other chores on the property. I just finished getting all these cut up. We're gonna put, I'm gonna frame in for a door right here. Jake will cut it out later. I've got enough lumber to get to this window 
and then I think the start of this one right here, and then I just have those few pieces left for this next section. So Jake was out there cutting up, milling up some more lumber, but it started dumping big time. It was dumping early this morning. We caught a break with some sun, and now it's just coming down hard. As you can see, we got a little bit of leakage going on. We never did get to seal this section yesterday. We put some, some blue seal on this one, and it's good for majority of it, but this small section from here to about there, it's got some kind of leakage going on. There's a few spots where you got some raindrops coming through. We'll have to go back up there when it dries up and see what's up with it. But over there, it's pretty good. Over here is really good, dry. Um, yesterday we were gonna do this one, but we never got around to it. And then we have that seam over there, but on the very top. And then hopefully it'll be watertight after that. And then once we get these windows in, it'll definitely be watertight. So. Got a lot of work still. Got a makeshift sawhorse right here that I've just been sticking all the two by fours on to make them the length they need to be. We're making it work. Jake didn't have a chop saw, so I've been using the handy dandy square circular saw. We're making the damn thing happen, come on. Thank you. 